Hello? Hey, Kendra. Hey, boo, what's your name? My name's Twan. What's, how you doing? Twan? Yes, ma'am. Where are you calling us from? Uh, I'm in Santa Monica right now, but I'm from Atlanta. I live in Atlanta. Oh, you live in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, I'm out here for Labor Day. You, you are you? That's right. It is. Look, yeah, I, I worked Labor in Day. a month. I forgot it was Labor Day weekend, child. Yeah, right, pulling up on some teammates. A, okay, so your name is Twan. You live in yes, Atlanta. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. How old are you, Twan? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. You have any children? No, ma'am. They say he cute. All right. No kids. <laughs> what you do for a living, Twan? I work in corporate finance for a tech company. Work in corporate finance. All right. So this is Twan Atlanta, 28, no kids, works in corporate finance. When's your birthday, Zodiac sign? Uh, February 25th. I'm a Pisces. He's a Pisces. All right, boo. Let's get into it, Twan. What kind of woman are you looking for? Yes, I'm just looking for someone to support me. Uh, I feel like I've done the right steps in life. I stayed away from the bad stuff, kept my head on straight. So now I'm just looking for a woman to come in, support my dream, support the goal, build a family, and start a future really with. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Does the woman have to be in Atlanta? Uh, No, she doesn't have to be in Atlanta. Okay. But okay. I do like Southern women. I, I, th I like Southern women. I think Southern women more so have the mindset I'm looking for. I've been out in L.A. this whole week, and it's been terrible. <laughs> terrible. Oh, tell Every me time. why. What's wrong with the L.A. women? Man, I went out with a girl, and she was telling me all about her job and her career and what she do, and I was just like, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool, but I don't really care that much. And she was like, oh, you just want a dumb girl. I was like, so it, it seems like if you tell women that their career and education aren't the main focus, they automatically jump to you want a dumb girl. You want someone that's dumb, that can't, like you can control. That's like, no, I want someone... It just works with me. <laughs> so what? Okay. So what are qualities that are important to you outside of a woman's job? Uh, obviously looks. What does she look like? Is she beautiful? Is she attractive? Uh, I like women that are culture that can work a room, can fit in spaces. Like, hey, you might roll up to me in the hood with my cousins, or you might go to a corporate function. I need someone that can fit both, that can play the role, and just someone like I said, just a support mate. Like those are the things. Uh, looks, uh, her values, where she comes from, uh, things that I would look for a future wife or mother to instill in my kids. Because I know I work 12, 14-hour days. I'm not going to be with the kids every day. So I would need someone that I can trust that, I'd like, they're going to give my kids a strong moral compass. Okay. What's some um, deal breakers for you? Kids, definitely off rip is a deal breaker so okay let's get there so there's she can't have no kids no kids no okay kids. <laughs> uh i i grew up with a stepdad i love him but that's not the role i'm looking to play i'm looking okay, to no, no no judgment get situated for me though Twine. you was fine okay. why'd you move oh my fault. it was getting hot right here kendra the sun was coming right oh, i'm sorry here. but that was good light for you that was good light try to bear through it you could do okay. it but real quick no pushback. You have no children, but explain why you won't date a woman with kids. Yeah, because to me, it shows lack of judgment. Uh, again, I've been attractive. I'm tall. I'm good looking. I've had women. And somehow I've managed not to have a kid in 28 years of living and being sexually active. So to me, I think it shows good judgment of someone to wait, find a man. I really subscribe to the married before you carry. I, I, I just really believe in that because I want to strong family foundation so like i said i want to come in fresh like put my imprint down i don't want someone that's been through stuff or i gotta deal with this guy over here or you don't talk to my kid like that so yeah i just want to come in and build my own thing okay cool fair enough um does a woman gotta be in atlanta nah okay um why, you, you said kids and we spent some time do you have any more deal breakers uh i would say someone that someone that leads if I talk to you and I ask you about yourself and you lead with education or your career, to me, that is a deal breaker for me. Why? If they lead with that, that's just a conversation. Because uh, I feel like, and again, I hate to say this, but I just feel like women have placed, val they place higher value on education and finances and men don't really place value on that. I don't see, I will date a girl that works at Target if she's 
beautiful. She's cool. like she's submissive. She's nice. I would hey come out of Target. I will build you up. Like so, uh, yeah. So leading with education to me, or like, because to me that's saying you, you're living in a man metric. Like I'm educated. I'm smart. I'm the leader. I'm this is what I am. So I want the opposite of me. I don't want someone like me. If I did a woman like me, we would argue every day. <laughs> it would be a headache. We would just argue and go back and forth. So I, I want the opposite of who I am as a person. Okay, fair enough. Does she got to be in Atlanta? No. Okay, so you're willing to travel? Yes, ma'am. What's the age range? You're 28. Uh, 24 to 30. 24 to 30. All right, you mentioned looks a couple of times. Does the woman got to look a certain way? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I usually date tall, athletic women. That's usually been my volleyball, basketball. So yeah, I like uh, I'm like Levar Ball. I want three sons all going to the league. So <laughs> I prefer taller women, attractive women, uh, women that take care of themselves, like going to the gym. Okay, you said taller. How tall are you? Six three. Oh, six three. Give us the kids again. Okay. <laughs> I gotta turn around. Let me... <laughs> can you see me or no? We can see you. So you okay. want a woman that she could be like six feet? Yeah. Okay. Use, I usually five nine, five eight, five, five nine. Okay, five eight, five nine. Um, does she gotta make a certain amount of money? No. You don't care. No. All right, Twan. When was your last relationship? Uh, my last relationship ended in November. November of last year. November of last year. All right. And then you don't got to answer this question, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Two days ago. <laughs> Who's the woman you slept with two days ago? Yeah, I guess as good as mine. <laughs> no, I'm not at a bar. Are you serious? I'm on vacation, Kendra. I'm living. I'm on vacation. So you'll never talk to her again? If I saw her again, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Y'all didn't exchange numbers? No, she gave me her Instagram, so that's definitely like. <laughs> and where did y'all sleep with? In the bathroom of the bar? <laughs> no, out here on my boy's <laughs> patio. Bed. Oh my god! Kendra, come on, I'm living. <laughs> so she's not an option for something serious. No, I didn't get to know her well enough to know if that was even. You got to know her insides. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound bad. I'm just yeah. making it sound like what you said. I'm just telling you the story we back met, out we loud. Had, we had conversation, and I, the thing, the thing I like about LA women, way more free. I will say that they're like whatever. I'm with, I'm with whatever. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it. So, do you know her? Like, if you saw her again, would you remember? No. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Oh my the only God. reason, and it's so crazy too, because all my homies are at the bar. I was feeling a little sick, so I came home, took a shower, charged my phone, and I just so happened to see you go live. And I had been trying to get on your live before, so I was like, let me just try. And it was early, so I was like, I might have had a good chance and end up working out. <laughs> okay, well, listen, Swan, a couple things. You mentioned the word submissive, they want you to elaborate. What does that mean to you? Yeah, so, like, submissive to me is just someone that, like, so if I came to you and was like, hey, we're moving to Alaska tomorrow, you, you don't ask any questions. You're like, all right, I don't know why we're going to Alaska, but this nigga said we're going. So I'm packing up the bags, the kids, the house, and we're going. So just That's willing wife. to follow. That's talking about. Your wife is doing it. Yeah, my wife. Like, that was my wife, and I was like, hey, we're going to Alaska. Let's go. And she's like, okay, I'm following him. I, I don't know why we're going, I, but I believe – and trust that he has a plan. And he's showing me that he's always showing me that he has a plan. So I'm just gonna pack up and follow him blindly and trust what he says. To me, that's what submission is. Trusting the person you're with blindly through all things. I will say this, you know, and I, I understand. And I will say a lot of my married friends, the, the woman does revolve around the husband. That's what typically normally happens. Um, so, um, I'm happy you elaborated and explained, but I do want to make sure that you're talking about a wife because any woman who ain't married to you just pick it up and go, and I would think that's crazy. Oh, she would be foolish. <laughs> that would be foolish. Yeah, I'm talking about okay. a wife. I mean, I want a wife. I'm Southern. You want a wife. Grew up with my parents. Like, I want a wife. But I'm not going to 
I'm not going to sell myself short or like just settle for something. Like I know what I want in a wife and I have done the things in my life to attract the kind of woman I want. Like I can't like, I, I've met women. I was like, you can't tell women not to work unless you got paper everything. And I was like, of course, like, I know this, like I have done these steps to demand the things I want. So like, so now so do you not want funny. your wife to work. No, she doesn't have to. I mean, if she wants to. Like, after the kids, I wouldn't want my wife to work until our kids are in, in school full time. Like, until the kids so, are like. So, you don't. Okay. So, like, until the kids are going out the house. Okay. So, is it fair to say you don't want a career focused woman? At all. Zero percent. Okay. Zero percent. Right. Zero percent. Zero percent. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. That's not what he desires. All right, I mean, because like I said, Kendra, I'm Marcus. career focused. Like, like I said, I want the opposite of me. I don't want someone that's like me. Like, I, I know how I am as a person. If I dated me, like I said, it would just be arguments back and forth because I'm strong-willed. I, like, I need someone that's more nurturing, more soft-spoken, more understanding, more willing to listen because I'm not the best listener at times. So, like, someone that's like, hey, you missed this or, like, that can help me out in that, those aspects. All right. So, Tuan, why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Uh, I think a woman would be lucky to be with me because, like I said, I've taken the steps, graduated from Ivy League school, uh, have built myself up as a man. So I think a woman would be lucky to be with me because she would be getting a great father, a great leader, a great mentor, and someone that she could really build and grow with. Okay. And why do you think you're single right now? Choice. I, like, so for me, it was like I didn't want to date until I felt – I could accomplish those things. Like I would have my fun and stuff, but I didn't want to seriously date until I could provide the things. Cause like, what I'm asking for, I have to provide a lot. So I couldn't be asking for those things at the level I was before. So as I've grown up, matured, advanced in my career, now I can go out and ask for these things and more openly receive them. Okay. All right, let's do it. This is Twan in Atlanta, 28 is a Pisces. He has no kids, absolutely no women with kids. He works in work, corporate finance. He'll date 24 to 30. He wants a woman he can build a life where he's looking for a wife, someone that's willing to have children and to build her life around his life. He said you don't have to work. That's not his goal. He wants to provide for his family. You do have to be attractive. He's 6'3", likes women 5'9", and up. Um, and he is a Pisces. Give them your Instagram page. Yeah, so my Instagram is T underscore double, D-O-U-B-L-E 21. So T underscore double 21. So T underscore D-O-U-B-L-E 21. Listen, I know some women um, in the comments is kind of giving you hell, but I actually think you're a good catch. I think you have no kids. You're focused. Um, you have a plan. I love men with plans because men with plans – usually order their steps. Men with goals order their steps. They're just not out here. Well, you are out here living, but you make it as, I mean, you're not lying. I mean, I'm about. living smartly, though. I mean, we're all going to live, but you can live and be smart about it. Like I mean, well, I, the thing is you're being honest. You ain't selling nobody no dream. So no, no. If, if I, I, I did that before when I was younger, and it always ends in heartache, fights, headache. Like So I, I've re like, I really scratch to just being honest and upfront about, what you want and if we don't match we don't have to waste each other's time like right if i've told you up front what i'm looking for okay they said make sure you get tested oh y'all brutal wait what they giving me hell I, I, so I always notice that you hate when people be looking at the comments so i i've just been focused on you so i ain't even see what they was even saying about me what they said about me kendra <laughs> someone just said make sure you get tested show us where you got down again you done showed us the the <laughs> That's what they had sex at last night. Child. Hey, it's nice out here. <laughs> it was last night y'all had sex? Or two days ago? <laughs> two days ago. I hope the housekeeper cleans it up. <laughs> you won't see no condom in there, child. <laughs> Andrew, right. I'm long. I'm long. We gotta go, Swan. Keep me posted how it goes, babe. Thank you. Thank you for talking to me. It was a pleasure. No problem. Enjoy your vacation. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bye, boo.